Hey guys, this is King Rebel and I'm coming to you guys with another video. So I was on the internet and TikTok and I was looking at some old videos of China because I used to follow, I used to not follow. I used to go on China's Instagram, listen to her talk about, oh, what happened to her? Because I know people was like, oh, her story has been out for a while. China has been, her story, her, her story hasn't changed. Her son's story hasn't changed. And the family is this, the family is that, the family is this, the family is that. When T Tessa told her story in, in the car, when Tessa said, you are schizophrenic. I believe that was some truth to it, but I didn't follow yet because I was doing my own thing. So China is telling a story about the son that she had that one of her bottom girls because she was running a prostitution ring because she was a prostitute and she was pimping out girls and herself back in the day. The girl came to her and said, oh, she doesn't want the baby anymore and she's going to not have the baby. And she told her, give her, give the baby to me with some kind of strange and like I said, she said the girl came to her and said she doesn't want to have the baby anymore. She's going to have to go to the hospital. She doesn't want the baby. She told her to give the baby to me. And she said the girl gave her the baby. The story sounds strange, but you don't hear it there. Watch some videos with Alexis and Shay. I saw where Alexis was like, oh, and Big, and Big, Big Linda is looking for you for her son. She want her son back. Then she was talking about her son is named Tristan. So I'm thinking maybe the girl was working for her. She ended up sleeping with her son and she named the baby Tristan. That was my thought. That's not the truth. As I'm surfing today on TikTok, I saw an interview on one of the TikToks, TikTokers and they were talking about how she said that she met China when she was in the ninth grade. China was older than her. She was selling dope, you know. China was like, oh, I like how you do your stuff. We should link up. You know, you, you help me. I help you. Whatever, whatever. Whoop, whoop. They hanged out for a while, did what they did. Lost contact. When she got a little bit older, she got back with China. She said China would tell her, oh, this guy I like her. But she had mental illness. She had bipolar. She said China is diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia, which makes sense. Go back to what Tessa said. Um, so she said the guy wanted to talk to her. She didn't know that China was pimping her out. So she would be dealing with the dude, but every time she did it, the dude, that dude would give China money, and she didn't know he was paying her. And then one day he told her something, and she said, oh, we're going on. He was like, no, I'm paying to sleep with you, whatever, whatever. China's a cold piece, bro. China's a cold piece. But that's not what made China cold to me. China been cold. China been cold because China got on this internet crying, crying, say that her siblings and a her son, right? S.A. her son or M. word her son. And I was listening to the story, and the story didn't make sense to me. And I wanted to sympathize because I didn't want to be a victim blamer. I didn't want to be somebody that says, oh, you know, that's why. Because when you don't believe, people are be like, oh, that's why the victims don't tell their story because nobody believe. I listened to Christian tell the story. And Christian said he was seven. And I went and I Googled everybody age. I looked up Chris, Trish, Christian has a, oh, a police record longer than life. I looked up the stuff and... I looked at the age difference and I was like, oh, Tessica was 10 when you were seven. Chastity was nine. Tessa was in her teens as well as Mookie and Eugene. And I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense because if they were children doing this to this boy, they were also children that it was done to. People are like, oh, if you say that, people will get in a comment and say, oh, you excuse child M word and you're a child M word. And it's like common sense will tell you, critical thinking will tell you that for a child to do that, it was something that was learned behavior, taught behavior, or something that was done onto them. Somebody teach them that or somebody did that to them. No 10 year old is coming out of nowhere and doing the things the way how he described it. And I will run it back at the end of this commentary, what he said they were doing at 10 and seven and him talking about, oh, he was fucking some little girl at five. And I'm like, at seven, bro, what the hell was he doing? But neither here nor there. Again, I listened to the story. It didn't make sense. China talked about the Malone dad did this to her and she got PSD, basically. I'm paraphrasing. When she saw Blueface knock their dad out and she remembered what he did to her because he pushed his finger in her. But then she talked about, oh, she, he used to get her hair done. He used to rent her car in her 30s and how her mom punched her in her eye when, he found, when she found out. And I'm like... That don't make no sense because why was, would your mom fuck you up? And I'm not saying mothers don't do that because they don't believe their children. I'm saying the story that she told didn't make sense. 
And I'm listening and I'm trying to where it tugs my heart where I could say, mm, where you get that feeling. Oh my God, she's telling the truth. So she was like, oh, when I met girls, the first thing I asked them were they MA because we had something in common and I want to make sure whatever, 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 all lies, all lies. So this lady, big Linda, been looking for her child, the same one that she said gave away. So she telling her story and I'm listening and she's like, I never gave her my child. I never gave away, gave him away my child in the hospital to be corrected. And I'm just paraphrasing. She said she smoked weed. She has four kids and she don't have custody of none of her kids because Tweed was in her system. So they took away her child. She said she had a the first one because the Tristan, the boy would have been her second child. She said, so she thought she had a CPS case and they were going to take away her child. So she told China, can she sign over her baby for 30 days temporary custody so that they won't take away the child from her? And then she'll get it back after the 30 days. She said, China said, fine, come to push, push, push come to shove. Th- three days within the 30 days, she found out that Big Linda gave oral sex to her man and she put her out. She tried to beat, China tried to beat up the dude, but he ran she put her out. So now she put her out. Now she has to try and find somewhere to stay, you know, trying to go back with her caseworker to get her child at the court. The court told her that China came, Miss Dorsey came with a paperwork saying that she signed over full custody to her child and don't want the child. She said she almost passed out because that wasn't the truth. Couldn't find China. I guess she was hiding and ducking and couldn't find China over the years. They told her, basically, you have to get find where she is so we could serve her, right? Because now she done said the woman gave away her kid. So if China could lie and said this lady said this lady gave away her child, why wouldn't China lie and said Krishan Malone, Tessica's dad, did something to her? Why China wouldn't lie and set her son up to say that this happened to him? Now I'm saying why can't she lie? I'm not saying she is because this t- if the means that these people go through to do things seem weird. So I'm saying this. So the lady said her. China and Tristan used to go to the same psychologist and psychiatrist and get their medication because they're all three diagnosed with bipolar. And I think China has bipolar and schizophrenia, and I believe Tristan has schizophrenia. I'm not too sure because I was trying to take down notes off of a lot of stuff, but it made sense because I was like, Tristan lived with her. Hmm. Tristan lived with her, but why if he's grown? I figured she was getting a check for him, and she probably was his payee and still probably is his payee that's why he stays with her they live together right so when her daughter is saying big big uh, big Big linda wants is looking for her to get her son china later came on the internet talking about oh if you had a child and the mother left for 13 years and all of a sudden want to come back would you give her the child would you let her see the child what's wrong with your other child why do you want this one and i asked my son and he said no he no he said hell no he didn't say no and i'm like why are you asking the internet because if you got the baby the right way, what's the problem? And if it's your child, why would you want not want the baby to see his mom? What the mom could have been changed. There could have been changes going on. Her life could be better. What's the problem? China is deflecting from the fact that the shit that she's been doing because everybody wanna jump on this damn internet, their secrets are coming to pass. So now she's trying to hide the fact that she took the child it's either considered what kidnapping or child it's considered kidnapping because she didn't give her her kid she gave her for a period of time and she lied so she false document what she did a false document and submitted it to take this lady's child right so now you're talking about oh i i um I asked him and he said no. And yeah, that's why I blocked him because she blocks people. You know, that's her go-to. So now the woman is trying to find her child. And her thing was because she has mental illness, she just wanted to be a part of her child life. Even if that was the way that she was going to go about it, why did she have to hide and do all this crazy stuff? Because they had to ask her, well, what happened? Why didn't she said she saw China with her son two and a half years later. But because of the paperwork, she can't just go and take the kids. She has to find out where China is so she could get her serve to get her child, right? Which makes sense. But they would have to do a right written expert to evaluate her handwriting of the note and evaluate her real handwriting to see, you know, if it's her real handwriting. So I did that. I'm sitting there and I'm listening. I'm like, well, how much shit did this family do? How dark is this family? Because again, I'm saying... If China could sit there and take some of this kid, and that's not the only one, evidently there's two kids she took. If she could sit there and take some of this child, 
if she's diagnosed and the girl said she does China doesn't take her meds. So if China is diagnosed with schizophrenia slash bipolar disorder or you know, however her but bipolar is diagnosed, I don't know. Why would you not think that China is lying about being MA by Krishans and Krishiki Dad? Why would we not think that China lied for sympathy and payola to say that they did this to her son? So when she got on there and Krishan with her manipulative self talk about oh um, Tasiki, you, you remember when you're trying to play? Because even if she did, again, who did it to them? And why would and Krishan look like she tells the worst lie on people? Remember, Blueface was um, Fruity Loop. Blueface was Fruity Loop. She was buying an island. Um, she bought the house. Then it turned into she rent the house. Then it turned into she bought the Bentleys, but don't have the Bentley. She bought the Mercedes truck, but don't have the Mercedes truck. She has so much money in the bank account for her baby. Um, the house is still up in the air because we don't even know what that story is. Uh, she's lied about a lot. But at the same time, it seems like lying is part of their family thing. And if schizophrenia, bipolar is in their family, that's hereditary. It's either hereditary or drug induced because some people may have their mental couldn't handle the drugs and they're just gone. I mean, their brain is just fried. So, whose side of the family is this diag- this diagnosis from? Is it from the mother's side? Is it from their father's side? Because I believe there's some there's more people in that family that has a mental illness. Case in point, Krishan, because the stuff that she's doing is not healthy, and that's not from somebody that's moving with a. Like I said, the elevator goes up, but not all the way up. It doesn't go all the way up to the top floor. Something is off in this family, or somebody did something. This bloodline is the dirt, the, the the darkness that hovers over this family is a lot. There's a lot when you uncover their foolishness. It's a lot. Why would you steal somebody's child? But then again, if you're mentally ill, why wouldn't you? Why would you come on internet? And she was like, why would anybody go on the internet and lie about some sick, sick shit like that? Bitch, you. Bitch, you. The fuck? You over there stealing people's children. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you lie about some sick shit like that? And if your son has the same diagnosis, a uh, duh. It seems like they are well, well, what am I trying to say? They're well versed in manipulation. The family is well-versed in manipulation. Oh, they are so good at it. Because I see people get on this internet and chastity beg them for stuff. And they just give it like, oh, we love Krishan. And you're Krishan's sister, so we're going to give you stuff. But yet she was charging them for Christians to ask about her sister on, on the cash app. They don't know this girl from a can of paint. This girl don't have two of her kids because she did some foul shit. She did some weird shit. And she doesn't have custody. The oldest boy, the family are cool with her. So they let her see the oldest boy. You will, you have not seen her with her younger boy. You have not seen her with the younger boy because her niece had to do CPR on that younger boy. And that's when they found. She said that it was her mom drugs that the baby took by mistake. That's her story. And she's sticking to it. Maybe it's true. I don't know. But again, it was still neglect on her part, right? Then they are over there. She's begging, begging. She wants her hair done. She wants cash up. She wants clothes. She wants this. She wants that. She She's waiting for people to send her stuff. The the baby father got it on live. She wants this. She wants that. She wants the third. The, the truth ain't in the fucking family at this point. And when you sit there and when I say, when people get in my comments, I'm like, oh, you don't know. And they this and they that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. If you really know about God in your discernment, you could see that coming through from a mile away. That that's not no God work. Not, the family is a weird set. It's a weird set. So far, the only two that look a little bit like they're a little bit calm is Tessa and Tareen. Not Tareen, because I'm, oh, that one, Tareen, boy. She's a different one. I mean, Tessa and Tessiki. Those ones seem a little bit calmer than the rest. Because Tessiki looks like she tried a whole croissant to task. But the rest of them just played with her and let them play, let her play in their face in turn. So I say that to say, I will have audio clips on behind the story. Um, I'll have some screenshot. I will have some of the audio from the mom talk telling her side of the story. But there's nothing good in this family from top to bottom. And again, like I said, 
if China was so good, there's 11 of them. Let's take out PD. How come she, she none of them messes with her? The other day, look like they were messing with her for a little bit, and she probably is not on her meds, so this shit kicked in, and they start fucking with her. Ch- Chastity was messing with her, probably telling her some of her business because she was talking spicy. No, I don't think her and Chastity, because I don't even see her in Chastity's comments anymore. Chastity is the same way. They have 11 siblings, 10 minus PD. How come Chastity can't stay with none of her siblings? She was in hotels and motels. and Well, it looks like she's staying with Alexis, China's oldest daughter. One of China's daughter. Because Tristan is the oldest, then it's Alexis. She looks like she's staying with Alexis. But again, I'm saying, how come these people come from a godly family, but they can't stay with each other? Because I know um, Tasiki is tired of carrying them. I know Tasiki is tired of carrying this family because it's a lot to bear and when they would have and people are talking about oh they need a story they need a song together they don't need nothing together they need as much distance as the law and the lord will allow from each other because they're not they're not as close as they make it out to be they're not as godly as they say they're not as dis- oh they showed me telling oh we're covered we're covered i'm like y'all mama told y'all that when she was high as hell out here in these streets because ain't no way all of y'all keep saying this stuff because Tarina's like, oh, once I get on my stomach and pray, girl, what? You pray what? Because your sister needed more prayer than, ooh. China has her older siblings that are same mother and father. And don't, they don't even mess with her. She talk about them alone, but the two Dorses don't mess with her. They don't mess with her because they know something is wrong with China. But China... Is going to be exposed just like this, just like Tasiki's. Well, Tasiki's story that I found out that I guess that they threw in her face. It seemed like Ryan, her dude, uh, allegedly, I don't know. The story is he used to date Chi- mm, Chastity. He used to date Chastity. So, according to the story, China, <laughs> sorry, Chastity and Ryan used to date. According to Tasiki, no, they didn't. Maybe he probably just hit and run. Maybe he, it was just a one bing bing, you know, a hit and run, a little sucky ducky. I don't know. But Tasiki got with him. And then their story is like, oh, she took um, Chastity's boyfriend. But you can't take no man that don't want to be kept. So I don't know what's that about. Maybe he probably liked Chasiki. Maybe after he linked up with Chastity, he was like, mm, this is not going to work. And now that he looked back at it 10 years later, he probably was like, oh, I picked the right sister. Because this one right here, she would have lost her kids. She Because I think Chastity takes medication as well. Because her on a live boyfriend... Sister was talking about she goes to the clinic to get her meds. So again, when I say there's a lot of mental health issue going on in that family, that's the reason why Krishan act like that. And one of these days, one of, or maybe that's the reason why they don't say much because they know she has mental illness. Allegedly, I am saying. Because ain't no normal girl acting like that. Ain't no normal 23-year-old acting like that. That has some kind of something else going written all over that. And I don't feel sorry for Blueface. I will say it again. Because he sacrificed his career for this girl. And he sacrificed his family. And he deserved everything he's getting. Because there was no need for none of this when he knew nothing about her. But as time went by, he knew of her. Like, I get it. He felt sorry when her teeth got knocked off from running from Jaden and his sister. But, okay, you get, her a, a, you get her a pretty pair. You pay her a nice fine. And you let her go and find her life. But he insisted she drank and smoked and did everything with him throughout three pregnancy. This girl sat down and said, this girl, you know how many, how many abortion this girl had had? This girl sat down and said she had an abortion for her previous boyfriend, Ronnie, that she was supposedly taking Blueface G-Wagon for. Then she had three for Blueface or three or four. Krishan is a walking symmetry. That girl is a walking symmetry to be so young. Hypersexual. I get it. Like I said, I get it. But at the same time, you guys sit here and talk about the Lord and she's so Lord and she's covered and she's covered. We're all covered. She just got out of her covers because she's playing with the, she's doubling with, she's playing the fence. She's dabbling on both sides. She sit there and talk the Bible because that's what they taught her. They taught her when things probably is rough, go read the Bible. They probably teach them, oh, read the Bible. We're going to church and read the Bible. We read the Bible. We read the Bible. But they never told her the meaning of the Bible. They never told her the meaning of the Bible. That's why that's when you go on their Instagram, even Tessa, 
she'll have a lot of pastor prayers, a lot of verses on her IG. But again, the family has a lot of dark secrets that her sister going to the mainstream, probably going to expose things they didn't need to be exposed in their illness, allegedly, supposedly, a lot of dark secrets, a lot of shit. But the only person I don't feel sorry for is Blueface. He's the only person I don't feel sorry for. I believe he brought this on himself and he made his bed. And like Loretta said, he better lay there because he should have did better. But also he has his own trauma. So I get that, but I still don't feel sorry for him because he should have, he saw the signs. He should have let it go, but he didn't. Now look, at he has people casing out his house. His dad, you don't know if he's lick, if he's, if he's buying from dealers, owing dealers, um, making up stories high as hell, seeing things, slashing his own tires, making up stories. I mean, the list goes on and on with them because a mental illness is so big in the black community and people act like it's taboo. That's why I have on my page. I have on my page a lot of people walking around untreated with Ill- the mental illness. I had a video trying to address some of the stars in Hollywood with mental illness. You think it's just them? It's folks like Krishan and her family in Kanye West when they said he's diagnosed. And then people say, no, he's a genius. People are misdiagnosing him. There's a lot of mental illness going on in the world. And it's getting more and more common because and people are turning a blind eye because they don't want to deal with it or they don't want to take their medication or they don't want to tell the truth of how the medication make them feel so that the doctor could change it and get them to where they got to go. But I'll have my audios, my pictures, my screenshot after my commentary. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Please be respectful in the comments. Bye. Whatever, because ain't no way she taking my son. Right. Facts. Big facts. And I don't think that person would want to do that. So for that person to pop up trying to be around now, I'm like, where are the other ones at, though? Because she done had other kids after him. Where are they at? I'm not forcing him to do that. That's I'm not. Because he's a teenager. He's old enough to make his own decisions. So I'm definitely not doing that. Yep, it's up to him. If he doesn't want to see her, then no. But if he, yeah, he said, hell no. And I asked him if he was sure. Block her out y'all like that's what I do. I love y'all. It's y'all on the same page. Y'all feel the same way I feel. Yeah, cause I'm like, why now? Like where you been at? 19, 13 years, where you been at? Why now? Like people are this world is just so messed up, y'all. Like, we really living in a messed up world. It's just sad, like if you know a child happy where they at, why would you want to take that from them? If you know a child gets everything that he wants, doing good in school, why take that from him? Oh, because you miserable and you still in Baltimore. Oh, okay. That's why people are wicked, man. I, I thought it was always supposed to be about the child. That's what I always thought about. Like I said, if you done had a child for 13 years, and now the mother just trying to come around, would you allow that child to see you? My son said, no, he don't want to see her. So, I mean, I'm not going to make him force him to see nobody he don't want to see. I know a change like that would definitely ruin that child. And it's like, that's what she wants. Because why would you want to take him from a good place to bring him to Baltimore? Like, because you're miserable? No, it don't work like that. <laughs> it don't work like that. Uh-huh. And that's what I did say. Leave it up to the child. Facts. Because he's old enough. He's 13. And he's definitely old enough to make his decision. Crazy part, though, she wouldn't even be able to afford him. That's the crazy part. If and when he's ready. But until then, bye, lady. Facts. Facts. Right. Y'all are exactly right. I'm like, where is she coming from now? 13 years later. Are you serious? I'm like, girl, bye. 13 years later. Five more years, my baby will be 18. Stop it. I'm like... If he wants to see you, he ever decide he wants to see you, then hey, it is what it is. I will allow that. But until he say that, there's no happiness. Right now, he is definitely content because he's like, hell no, what I want to see her for? And I'm like, you know, I just asked the question. You know, like I said, I just told him um, two years ago that I wasn't his biological. I, I wanted to tell him because somebody else told him because people are very ignorant, you know? Like I said, they don't think about the child 
they try to hurt the adult, but you're not thinking about the child. I should want to be a part of his life now, right? Facts. I was like 26. I would cuff girls that was like 19, 20 and take them under my wing. And I would always ask them, have y'all ever been molested? And I would always ask them, have y'all ever been molested? And they, they tell you up to this day, like, that would be the first thing she asked us. Like, that would be the first thing she asked us. I had some girls that was under me or whatever. They was all grown. And this was my top notch one right here. And she was living with me. So she would make her moves and shit at the house. You feel me? What I used to do when I was in my early 20s, I would cuff young females, y'all. And a lot of females in Baltimore would tell y'all, they done found me on Instagram. And they like, I've been looking for you for years. Like, I used to cuff, like, say I was like 26. I would cuff girls that was like 19, 20 and take them under my wing. And I would always ask them, have y'all ever been molested? And I would always ask them, have y'all ever been molested? And they, they tell you up to this day, like, that would be the first thing she asked us. Like, that would be the first thing she asked us. If they didn't have nobody, no parents, I would take them moving with me. I'm, I'm your mother now. Like, and get really look out for them. Look out for them. I had, man, I'm telling y'all, my life has been crazy. Like, I don't know if I should say that story. Like, I don't know if I should say that story. <laughs> but I had some girls that was under me or whatever. They was all grown. And this was my top notch one right here and she was living with me so she would make her moves and shit at the house you feel me so she would make her moves and shit at the house you feel me so she ended up getting pregnant and she was like well i don't want the baby remember i just told y'all in the story she was eight and a half months pregnant so she called me to the hospital like well i don't want the baby this is in the third so i went to the hospital and i'm like what you mean you don't want them i'm like you can't just say you don't want no baby and you ready to give birth like it's not too late now. And she's like, well, I don't want him. I said, well, I'll take him. And guess what? That's my 11-year-old son today. And the mother was fucked up. The mother was all messed up. So now the child, almost a teenager, the mother asking for the child back. What would y'all do? What would y'all say? And I asked the child, though, if he wanted to see this lady, he said, hell no. So what would y'all do in a circumstance like that? Just curious for what y'all did. And like I said, if you had a child since the baby was a newborn baby, you you named this child and everything, right? This is your child now, period. That's my child. And now all of a sudden, the mother pop, want to pop up, what, almost 13 years later. And now all of a sudden, the mother pop, want to pop up, what, almost 13 years later. What would you do in a circumstance like that? See, me being me, I went and asked my son, what did he want to do? Do he want to see her? He told me no. Well, his words were hell no. So, I mean, what can I do? I can't force it on him. Now, like, what would y'all do in a circumstance like that? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said I was going to do. Leave it up to the child, and that's what I did. All right, cool. Because y'all know me and my heart. And I'd be like, well, maybe you should go. She better take me to call whatever because ain't no way she taking my son. Right. Facts. Big facts. And I don't think that person would want to do that. So for that person to pop up trying to be around now, I'm like, where are the other ones at, though? Because she done had other kids after him. Where are they at? I'm not forcing him to do that. The authorities involved in this? Because this doesn't sound like a legal adoption. Was this it's a legal not, adoption? See, it was. See, what happened was... I was at her house. It was literally three weeks after I had gave birth to him. I gave birth to him on October the 6th. So three weeks after October the 6th, we was at Walmart. CPS came to our house looking for me. I had an active open case in Baltimore City for my oldest son. Okay. I was scared that they was coming to take him as well. So I told China, look. Can we go to the courthouse and I give you 30 day temporary custody of my son so they won't just take him and put him in the system and I'll be back? She said, all right. After we come from the courthouse, three days later, the truth come out about Vic making me suck his dick mm -hmm. and she got mad. They were never married. She was, okay. she had voodoo on that man. A lot of people don't know that girl do voodoo and that shit works. Linda, you take Vic Linda baby? Really? You pimp that lady, that young baby out. Your babies want to be online, lying for you. The same ones you may eat their poop. Fucked up. You was crazy. Like, you schizophrenic.
My ex did. That nigga died, for sure. And, but we ended up breaking up. Um, I ended up aborting his kid. Beat the murder case and all that with self-defense. My ex did.